0.83 over 6.9 to calculate the uh, other answers in this question. So I know that 0 0.120 moles of lithium have reacted in this reaction. So this part is done. Now the second part asks us calculate the volume of hydrogen produced at room temperature and pressure. So first let's see this equation. 2Li solid plus 2H2O liquid gives 2LiOH aqueous plus H2 gas. The state symbols solid, liquid, aqueous and gas are given to us and we have to calculate, we know the number of moles of lithium now so let's add this to our information. Let's just, as soon as we get more information we'll keep adding over here, okay. So N of Li is 0 0.120 moles. So this part asks us that uh, the, we have to calculate the volume of hydrogen gas produced at room temperature and pressure. So first let's see, see the ratios. So the ratio between lithium and hydrogen is 2 is to 1. This means that 2 moles of lithium form 1 mole of hydrogen. So when we first we calculate the number of moles of hydrogen, N of H2, so since 2 moles of lithium will form 1 mole of hydrogen, 0 0.120 moles of lithium will form 0 0.120 divided by 2 moles of hydrogen, which is the same as 0 0.0601. This is the two, three significant figures, 0 0.0601 moles of hydrogen. So now I know the number of moles of hydrogen and I had the formula a V, I had the formula when we were talking about the 24 dm cube, V is equal to N times 24. So the volume of hydrogen gas produced will be the number of moles of hydrogen gas which is 0 0.0601 times 24 which is the number of moles occupied by one mole of a gas at room temperature and pressure. So when I do this calculation I get 1.44 dm cube, 1.44 dm cube correct to three significant figures. So this is the volume of hydrogen that has been produced. So the third part asks us calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube of the lithium hydroxide formed. So a uh, concentration in mole per dm cube. So uh, we know that the uh, we have we know this this equation so this equation is saying two moles of lithium gives us two moles of LiOH so since there is no space here I'm going to make an arrow and I'm going to do this calculation here so two moles of lithium gives me two moles of LiOH that means one mole of lithium will give me one mole of LiOH so if I have 0 0.120 moles of lithium then I have formed 0 0.120 moles of LiOH. So the moles of LiOH is this, so I can write N of LiOH, which is lithium hydroxide, is equal to 0 0.120 moles. So, okay, we have done this. Now, we have calculated the, uh, so sorry, we have done the, uh, the moles of lithium hydroxide, now concentration as we knew is equal to N over V. So N is equal to 0 0.120. The volume of solution is 0 0.5 dm cube as given in the question. So the concentration becomes as I put it on my calculator I get 0 0.241 mole per dm cube. So this is the concentration of lithium hydroxide formed. 0 0.241 moles per dm cube. So this is the concentration of lithium hydroxide form. So we have done the third part as well. Now we, in this we have done all three, we have used all three mole equations that we learnt and we have also used how we, uh, how we study balanced equations, the stoichiometric ratios. So this question was a good question, I selected it so that all skills come into practice. Now let's do another one. So this is a very long question, uh, you can see they have given so much information in this one. 
So let's start reading. Mesenoic acid, HCO2H, was formerly known as formic acid because